the worst thing you can do, the worst thing, let's talk about it because it's something that I do, it's something that you do, it's something that everyone does, and we need to stop, we need to control it. And by being self-aware, by being aware of this, it can help you stop. It's making excuses. And making excuses where excuses don't need to be. It's really easy for people to rationalize things. A good example is age. Many people will say they're too old to learn mathematics. Maybe you're 25 or 35 or 45 or 55 or 65 or 75. It doesn't matter how old you are. If you think you're too old to learn math, you're making an excuse and then you're just not going to learn math. But the thing is, you can't change your age. So it's not a valid excuse. Besides, people of all ages learn math. I've seen, I've seen old people learn math. I've seen young people learn math. It doesn't make that much of a difference. You can still learn. Another one is ability. There's that, there's that saying, which I love. It's hard work beats talent until talent works hard. So that means that you can work really, really hard and you can beat talented people. But when that talent works hard, that's when you're in trouble. And there's a lot of truth to that saying because I have had tons of brilliant students who could have worked harder, but they didn't for whatever reason. And then I have students who are not as good, work harder and, and, and defeat or, or, or do better than these talented students. So yes, hard work can completely destroy talent until talent works hard. That's the fear part of the quote. That's the part where people think, well, why work hard? Because if the talent works harder, I can't win. You can't think that way because you can't change your talent. It's something you can't change. So you're making excuses. Same thing with age. You can't change your age. So stop making excuses for things you can't change. The only thing you can change is what you do today. You have to make it work, right? Stop making excuses. We all do it. And I have seen people make excuses for other things too, and I do it. You know, sometimes people have something they want to do besides learn. Maybe they want to work out or they want to go run every day or they want to lose weight or maybe they want to gain weight, whatever it is. But they'll make excuses. Oh, I don't have time. Oh, this and that. And a lot of times, you know, you'll, you'll make those excuses and you'll think, well, those, those are... Those are valid excuses. Yeah, I don't have time. I have this to do, this to do, this to do. I have a job, I have kids, I have classes I'm taking. I just don't have the time. That's fine. You can make that excuse, but realize you're making an excuse. And sometimes there's, there's ways around it, right? If you really want something bad enough, you won't make excuses and you'll make it happen. And it's, again, it's something we all do. We all rationalize things. You know, maybe there's something you wanna do and you're afraid. Fear is, fear is a big reason that people don't do things in life. It's a big reason. Maybe there's a job you want to apply for, but you're worried that you won't be able to do it. You're worried that maybe you won't be able to learn the job once you get the job. But how do you even know if you don't even apply? You don't even have a job yet. You haven't even applied. So take the first step. You know, stop overthinking. Stop making excuses. And, and take action. Action matters. There's, there's this quote. And I don't know the quote. I, I don't know it offhand. It's beautiful. I'll, I'll, I'll try to leave the quote in the description. It's, it's by Walt Disney. Ah, oh, what was it? Walt Disney, by the way, is you know, the guy from Disney World. It's something about, something about doing. Something about how, how you should do. You know, it, action is where it's at. You have to take action, not just, not just thinking about things and overthinking and, and going online and doing research for hours and hours and coming up with ideas. No, no. You actually have to sit down and do stuff, right? So if you want to learn math, sit down and do it. You know, I was in this teacher's office many years ago and there was another student there and the student was doing most of the talking. I was really shy back then. I didn't really talk to my teachers too much. And he was asking, you know, what's, what's the best way, you know, I can get better at this class, you know, blah, blah, blah. And the teacher says, well, I'll just do a little bit every day and you'll, you'll be all right. And I was just listening in and I, I thought, wow, that's brilliant. Do a little bit every day. If I do a little bit of math every day, 
I, I can get where I want to be. But I didn't do it. Why? Because I made excuses. Right? I made excuses. I would wake up in the morning and if I wasn't feeling like doing math that day, if I was tired, it's like, yeah, I'm not going to do math today. I'll do it tomorrow. I've got time. That's an excuse, right? I mean, I was fairly disciplined, but not, not nearly as much as I am now. It takes time to build discipline. You have to work on it. It's not going to happen overnight. It might. It might. You know, it might happen overnight. Try. Right? Try to build discipline in your life. Discipline as my example points out, is the ability to work when you're not motivated, right? Get the job done. Don't make excuses. And again, it's something we all do. I do it. No one's perfect. You know, it's not like you watching this video and you'll stop making excuses forever for the rest of your life. No, but if this video helps one person, even just a little bit, even for just one day, I think it's worth it. And that's why I wanted to make it because I think that we all make excuses in life for so many things, right? For so many things. And we rationalize it, right? We, we, we come up with ways to tell ourselves that it's okay, you know? Like maybe you have a physics test, but you also have a calculus test. And you really don't want to study for physics, but you know you should. But you're like, oh, I'll, I'll really just focus on calculus because I'll get a good grade in that class. That's a terrible idea, right? You need to focus on both, right? Don't, don't make these illogical rationalizations. And we all do it in every aspect of life, not just learning. And I think it's important to be aware of it. It's important to see it. It's important to see when other people do it. If you're reading something on the internet, read with a critical eye. I'm not saying be negative, but just realize that sometimes the arguments being made they're faulty rationalizations, right? Even stuff on social media, a lot of times the things people say, they, they don't really make any sense, right? Because they're rationalizing things in just an incorrect way. Don't make excuses. Don't do it. Now, sometimes, sometimes they make excuses and they are rational, you know? Like, here, here's one I think is rational. I will never go skydiving because I'm afraid of heights and I feel that skydiving is not going to bring value to my life. I mean, it's not something I want to do. So... There's my excuse. <laughs> so I'm making excuses. But don't make excuses for things that you know will bring your life forward. You know, learning mathematics, it's going to help you. You know, going to college, it's probably going to help you. Working out, running, exercising, it's probably going to help you. Build that discipline. Do a little bit every day and it's going to go a long way. You're going to learn. You're going to get better. It works. Just keep at it. Remember, you can't change your age, so don't use that as an excuse. You can't change your natural talent, so don't use that as an excuse. Don't make excuses for things you can't change, and you'll be all right. Anyways, kind of a random video. If you want to learn mathematics, I do have math courses. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathvids.com. They're actually on the Udemy platform, but please use the links from my website. It helps me greatly. I've lowered the prices to the bare minimum, so when you use my links, you should get a low price, I think, every time. Even if there's not a sale, you should get a low price because I lowered the price to the minimum. Also, um, if you want to subscribe, do that if you want to. If not, that's okay too. It doesn't matter. The most important thing you should take away from this video is that every human being on this planet makes excuses. I make excuses. You make excuses. Try to be aware of when you're doing it. Try to be aware of that so that you can become a better person and become the best version of yourself. Don't let fear hold you back. Don't make excuses for things you can't change. Work on your goals a little bit every day and I think you're gonna have a better life. Keep doing mathematics.